This is not going to go on some really kind of saccharine positive terror about the CBC, <laughs> but the exact opposite about Canadians, which, which frankly depressed me in, uh, to no end, was, so we had a court challenge to get access for the interview, and the court challenge was very, very specific. It was not about, we really want to get in there because we're activists, because we really want you to know what this poor guy is suffering and what he's done, and on and on and on. It was a very, very simple court challenge, which is a charter challenge and saying one of the things is there's a public right to know in this country. This guy is going to be released sooner rather than later. And so regardless of what you think about him, even if you're hardcore, like law and order, right wing, whatever your political perspective would be, you should say, I want to know what this guy's really like. I want to know what he's like before he gets out. He might live in my neighborhood. If that's your perspective that this guy is going to do awful things, you should you have a right to know. That's your public right to know within this country. Now, I've got a lot of relatives in the States. Their general approach, and some of them are hardcore right wing. <laughs> if you said to them about anybody that you, you don't have a right to go into a prison and film this guy, this guy's a bad guy, and you don't have a right to know about him, they'd be freaked out. They'd just be like, give me a break. I mean, everything should be seen on TV. Everybody should have a right to see stuff. So this idea, and the government was taking the stance, not only, I mean, their, their perverse twist on why we shouldn't get access is because they want to protect the inmate. Now, the inmate very clearly says in this situation, I have no problem with being filmed. I want to tell my side of the story. And part of my side of the story might be critical about the government, might be critical about the correction system. But there was this line that basically, like, a very paternalistic, let us protect you Canadians, you don't really need to hear this story, and let's protect the inmate. Yeah. And frankly, people didn't really care about that. Like, I actually thought people would just say, even if whatever you believe about this guy, like, oh, I, I'm just curious to see the story. You know, the fact that all, basically all media kind of came out and said, which impressed me, because Michelle at the time was very much connected to the Toronto Star, um, regardless, was all like across the board saying, the public does have a right to know. This, the fact that the government went in a different direction and the legal system went in a different direction. I mean, what I liked most about this in terms of the court challenge, I thought if we had established a precedent, it could change the way that news and documentary is done in this country. And that Canadians should actually say, I want to know what's going on in prisons. Cameras should be allowed in there. If people, if the inmates want the cameras in, and it just basically like people didn't really care. And it was yeah. just kind of like, uh, we're protecting people. I mean, cameras should be allowed in a number of places in our country that are not there. And Canadians should be really pissed off about that.